blog, Angela Marie Mead, and I'm excited to show you how we built our DIY rain shed cover. Originally, our rain shed cover was really outdated, but now it's transformed into a beautiful focal point. This project is a budget-friendly project, and it's part of our $1,000 budget kitchen makeover. The cover itself only cost me about $30 in materials, and the new rain shed we installed was $140, so overall this project cost less than $200. The new rain shed we installed comes in multiple sizes and colors. It has the buttons underneath of it, and it can be installed as either ducted or ductless. I'll link below in the description box which one we used, as well as all the other materials we used for this project, so check that out. I basically figured out this project as I went with it. And because it's so custom to our kitchen and all range hood covers setups vary per kitchen, I'm going to provide a more high level overview of this tutorial rather than a super in depth tutorial. Step one is to install a new range hood if needed. Also, go ahead and remove your cabinet doors above the range hood at this point. Step two is to add side cabinet trim if needed. If your cabinets have side trim pieces, then you can skip this step. My cabinets do not, the doors extend right to the edge, so I added side trim pieces with a brad nailer and 1x2s, and the 1x2s are the same height as the range hood. Step 3 is to install a range hood cover frame. The key to this project is building a sturdy support frame for the hood cover. To begin, I made two side pieces with 2x2s and 1x2s nailed together to fit behind the side trim pieces. Then we used a Craig jig to create pocket holes on each end of the side pieces to secure them to the front 2x2 two two frame board. You could also just use a drill and regular screws, but I wanted an extra strong joint. The frame extended out one inch more than the depth of my range hood. We attached the frame to the cabinets with two and a half inch screws through the sides of the cabinets. The cabinets are attached to the wall studs, so this created a very sturdy frame. Step four is to add the angle frame support boards to the range hood frame. This is the most complicated step of this project. First, we added one by twos that were a quarter inch in from the side trim pieces. Next, I added two two by twos stacked on top of each other with two inch brad nails on each side of the frame. I did this so that my one by 16 board could be installed at the correct height and to provide support for the side angle framing boards. For the one by two front angled boards, I held the board out past the stack two by twos to mark the exact angle needed, which was about 21 degrees. Since we're working with a right angle triangle here, I did some geometry to figure out that my top angle cut needed to be 69 degrees. However, my miter saw only cuts up to 55 degrees. We realized that we didn't need it to be a perfect angled cut and we could just cut as far of an angle as we could and that was enough of an angle to nail into the wall. Then we nailed the bottom part of the 1x2 board into the stack 2x2s and the top of it into the wall. Step 5 is to attach the plywood range hood cover. Use a circular saw and cut quarter inch plywood to size for the front cover. We made ours a little taller than our angled 1x2 boards. Secure the plywood cover with one inch brad nails and a brad nailer to the one by twos. For the sides, I clamped plywood up and then traced the exact shape we needed to cut. Then we used a circular saw and a straight edge guide to make the perfect cut. The front of the range head cover was trimmed out with lattice trim, not only does it look great, but it also hides the plywood edges as well. Step seven is to caulk all the gaps and seams, fill all the nail holes with a lightweight spackle, prime, and then paint the range hood cover. 
I use the same paint as our kitchen cabinet enclosure, the Benjamin Moore Advance line in white dove with a satin sheen. Cut a 1x6 to size to trim out the front of the frame hood cover. The front board needs to be a 45 degree bevel cut on each end, and the two side boards need a 90 degree end and a 45 degree end. After cutting them, stain them, allow it to dry, and then add a polyurethane. I wanted everything to be very wipeable above the stove, so that's why I added a poly in addition to the fact that it looks really great. Install the sideboards first, clamped into place, and level with one and a quarter inch brad nails. Nail the front one by six board to the sideboards and the two by two frame. The last step is to finish the underneath side of the range hood cover. I used one by four boards that were three eighths of an inch thick and I painted them white and nailed them underneath into the two by two frame to cover it. I think our DIY range hood cover turned out beautiful. It provides so much character and warmth in our kitchen. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Our budget kitchen makeover is almost finished. I still have a few more projects to complete, which I'll be sharing soon, but I can't wait to share the final reveal with you all. Thanks again for stopping by and please subscribe to my channel.